Hello? Come on. Fight me. Hey there, Foxy Gamers. Welcome back to the Long Dark. We made it through the night, which I guess you kind of knew that before because I wanted to make sure. Uh, but yeah, we're at 80% condition. We're kind of hungry, but not too terrible. I'm not gonna worry about eating anything. Okay, okay, don't mind Sophie. She's going on. She always starts her crazy cat mode whenever I start my recording. But, you know, typical pets. Uh, yeah, so we have one and a half kilograms of water, which should be okay for now. Okay. I guess we'll go back out and grab those carcasses. <laughs> Since that's what I intended on doing yesterday before we fell in the lake. It's a balmy negative eight degrees Celsius outside and not windy at all. All right. So there may be another wolf now. I can't remember how long ago it was that we re-killed the other wolf. But I guess we'll find out. Oh, speaking of which, I should probably check out our clothing situation, see how everything's doing. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Our socks are the lowest, but they're still at 66%, so no big deal. Oh, and is everything dried out? Yeah. Okay, cool. We were indoors long enough for our clothes to get dry. Alright, fingers crossed. No stupid mistakes this time, but, you know, that, that seems to be a regular occurrence lately. Oh man. Sophie almost- she almost got that invisible mouse. She was really, really close, guys. <laughs> okay. Hey, Wolfie, Wolfie, Wolfie! Was it just you that was left here? I think so. Okay. Guess we'll start with the deer carcass. And Luke and some other people have pointed out to me that it's a good idea to start a fire next to a corpse if you're wanting to harvest them for a while. But of course I'm a big fat dummy and am not carrying enough stuff on me. That stick will only last for like six minutes. So this time we just won't worry about it. And we'll harvest as long as we can. Make sure there's... No dudes around that want to eat me first. I hear something. I think it's just a deer. Their footsteps are always so loud. Now somebody told me that using the hunting knife would actually be faster than harvesting these, but that does not look like that's the case at all. The hatchet is much faster. Alright, we'll do two at a time. Just to make sure we're not going to get incredibly cold. Alright. Um. Oh, it got cold really fast, actually. It was only 30 minutes. But a storm is a-coming. Um. Feel my hands. Okay. We'll just do 10 more minutes. What can go wrong in 10 minutes? We'll be fine. Okay. I don't want to push it too terribly far, though, considering our uh, condition is only 80%, but we seem to be okay. Alright, well, it looks like the storm is picking up pretty good real quickly, so... Hey, why are you running? What's the deal? Is there a wolf chasing you or something? No? Okay. I feel like that's always a warning sign in, like, movies and TV shows where if you see the prey running, that means there's something scary after them that is probably going to come after you, too. But that doesn't seem to be the case this time. Okay, so we're not going to... Oh, it got warm really fast. Nope. No, it didn't. Just kidding. We must have been protected by the wind. 
Obviously, we don't really want to be outside right now. There's 11 hours of daylight left, which still means there's a chance for uh, the weather to get better and us still having time to go outside, but let's... Is that really all we have, or sticks? Crap. Sticks and coal. Dang it. Oh no, look, there's a cedar plank. Yes, I'm sorry I left everything on the ground, tipsy fish. I won't do it anymore, I promise. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll cook up this meat we got going on and see what the storm is doing after that. Alright, welcome back, guys. Tipsy Fish, you will be happy to know that I cleaned up the floor a bit. Just a bit, because I still want these guys laying out here to cure, because they don't seem to cure if they're inside something. Uh, but yeah, we also cooked up some of this Raishi tea. So that way, if we have another encounter with an animal or whatever, and we need painkillers, we can drink that. I would like to make another one, but we're gonna need some more rose hips. I think, let's see, we had 28 rose hips, and we have three left, so yeah. 25 per cup of painkiller. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the lantern with us this time, and, okay, it's not all the way full. I thought it was, but there's not too much of this left, I don't think. Yeah, that's not gonna... Um, let's see. We got another can in here, though. This guy's got a lot of lantern fuel in him. I still want to use the lantern very sparingly though because we never know when we're gonna find more lantern fuel and it's important to have that along with us i'm gonna also carry the simple tools yeah until i know whether or not i actually had simple tools left at the the warehouse i'm gonna carry those on me double check things that we have okay there's some more simple tools all right, I think we're good to check out what's happening outside. We got seven hours of daylight left, and our tummies are full. Our belly is full, so that's good. It is negative two out. All right, not bad. Okay, I think I'm gonna... Huh, actually... Let's grab some of those guts, and we're gonna carry them over to the whale processing place, because when we do want to craft stuff, that's eventually we're gonna, where we are going to want these things. I don't know if I can access the crafting stuff without the workbench. I just, like, I know I, know I can't make it without the work workbench, but I just wanted to see the recipes. Oh, wow, there's all these stats in here that I never looked at. Calories expended, 59,000. All right. So tell us how many times we almost died or fell into the water. Nope. <laughs> Only 20% of the world explored. Okay. Oh, there's collectibles. All right, interesting. Uh, all right, anyway, let's grab maybe all of this. Let's see how much weight it takes. We've got plenty of room in our inventory. And hopefully this stuff doesn't attract um, other animals. Like, I know the meat does, but I don't know about the guts and things. I guess we'll find out! Okay. I have two pieces of meat that are sitting in that cabinet in there. And I'm carrying a couple snacks on me in case we end up staying overnight somewhere else and need food. But we should be good on our calories for a while. I don't plan on going too far. Probably just back to the whale processing place. Refresh my memory of what we left over there. And potentially get attacked by a wolf because I remember there were wolves that spawned over there now. Ooh, 
did we ever harvest that one that scared the bejesus out of me? Hmm, I don't know. I can't remember. I guess we'll find out. There's a bunny wabbit. Can't wait to make a snare. Catch those little buggers. Gonna check over here for some rose hips. Looks like maybe I harvested them all. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna pick up just one more little stick here. Pour some kindling. I will leave the reishi mushrooms for now. Don't really need them. Hi! Any wolvesies? No? Okay. Wow, look at how clear it is out. Ooh. This is making me tempted to go exploring a little more when it's that clear. We only have six hours left. I'm gonna drop all this stuff off. And if we don't encounter any wolves between now and dropping these things off, maybe we'll go explore a little more. Hello? Oh, there's the wolf corpse. Okay. Good to know. In case we're in need of some food. Alright, there's our pile of things that are curing. And I'll leave our toolbox here since there is no point really in us carrying that. Oh yeah, and probably pick up all this junk off the floor so that I remember what we had. Ah, there's the fishing book I was looking for, see? I was thinking it would have been nice to be making use of our time whenever we had to warm up by the fire, but... Whoops. Okay. Let's go check out... Oh, did I... Oh, I thought that was another whetstone there. I was gonna say, I thought I only had two. Let's see what's down the road! Nothing stupid has happened yet today, so, you know, gotta go explore somewhere new and see what problems we can get up to. Gotta keep track of my daylight, though, because that's the worst mistake ever, is forgetting to pay attention to the weather. And then, uh, getting stranded and having to spend all night in a car, that was not so much fun. I would like to avoid doing that again, if at all possible. I also need to start paying attention more for lichen. I'm not entirely sure what it looks like yet, because if I have seen it, I was not aware. Um, but I would like to gather that whenever I can. I haven't seen any bears on this map yet either, knock on wood, oh god. Uh, which makes me kind of nervous because I feel like there's got to be a bear somewhere. And if I haven't encountered it, that means I don't know it's patrolling area. Oh yeah! Fuck it! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh. I didn't- oh man, I didn't hear that wolf at all. Ah! Okay, no afflictions. That was a really fast wolf fight. He must have been injured already. Ah, my heart is racing. Okay. Now there's gonna be a bear, right? That's... Oh. And if we encounter a bear, we're totally dead. By the way. Oh, hey! What do you know? There it is! <laughs> okay. Good to know. Um, yeah, I'm not even gonna try to take that on right now, even with the gun, like, oh, and he's coming back. All right. Hi, Mr. Bear. Uh, I don't know what their aggro radius is, but, like, I was really fucking close to the bear on that other map when it didn't come after me. Um, but I'm not sure I want to risk harvesting that corpse when the bear is right there, because if meat actually makes him come for me, uh, then, yeah, that would be a bad idea. Because I also can't really see where the bear is there. Alright, well, 
Speak of the devil, I knew that was gonna happen as soon as I said something about I haven't seen a bear yet on this map. Then there you go. Um, is that the wolf? Do we want to take him on? I don't know. Is he dying? Uh, 66%? I might regret this, but let's see what happens. Are you just bugged out? Is that what's happening? I think so. Hello? Come on! Fight me! Are you scared or... I don't know what's happening here. Can I ride you? Whee! Alright. I would like it if you would die, please, so I can harvest you, since you're, like, farther away from the bear than this other one. But I guess you're not gonna. So now, as soon as I, like, turn around and walk away, you're gonna attack me, aren't you? Okay, well, there's our cue to go home, because the weather is picking up. And now that I know that bear is over there, I would like to try and take it on when we're at 100% and, you know, like from afar and perhaps we can shoot it but that's like I'm just terrified even thinking about that right now so I don't know how well I'm gonna handle that but definitely I shouldn't even attempt to take him on unless I'm 100% okay <sighs> that's still oh man that wolf like scared the shit out of me all right, I don't think we have any food that we've left here, so we'll just have to live off of these little snackies that we have. Oh man, and we're thirsty already too? Jeez. Okay, well maybe we'll start a fire, get some water. Oh goodness, there's a lot more stuff here than I thought. And perhaps I'll read the book. Learn something about fishing, you know, that thing that I still haven't tried to do. Uh, not for lack of interest, I just don't really know how or if it was like only that last map we were on that we can do fishing. I suppose I won't know until we try. Alright. We'll boil some water and perhaps sharpen weapons oh goodness i guess i need to have my lantern no let's not fire the no no wait, no 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 what it oh okay there we go i was like did i not have my lantern there we go oh that's right i left some clothes down here too and a jerry can is that empty i don't remember no it's not okay Good to know. Set you down there for a second. And let's grab this wood. Alright, welcome back everyone. It is now time to go to bed. Uh, I checked our clothes to make sure everything was fine and the wolf didn't really seem to do anything to it. I'm going to wait on eating the food. Uh, because I'd like to keep those things for emergency only, since we don't attract animals by carrying those. But okay, that is going to do it for this episode. So thanks a lot for joining me, boys and berries. And until next time, stay foxy.